Alrighty guys, Jess Sunstrider Rider here, and welcome to what will be an introduction to what will be a guide to Coyotes Mech Warrior 5 mission pack. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I've seen a lot of comments ever since its initial release a long time ago, way before DLC 2 came out, or DLC 1 to be honest, before any DLC came out that... Uh, now, a lot of new players and even some veteran players are uh, complaining that Coyote's mission pack is a bit too hard. Especially with the recent attack and defense changes and the addition of Battleground. And, uh, I may not have known exactly what has been put in to Coyote's mission pack, so, uh, Coyote, if he watches these videos, may have to confirm or deny certain, uh, certain specific details here and there, but I have, well, I was, like, I was a major bug tester where I'd stream it on Twitch, and he'd be, uh, I guess, lurking in the background, making comments, asking questions, and making note of bugs and balance changes and stuff that we uh, determined would need to be addressed through my gameplay. Obviously, I haven't been able to do that recently since I started school. And, you know, we haven't been able to play, like, at all recently because I'm only streaming on Fridays and he seems to be doing his own thing. But that's... That's whatever, right? You know, it just means that I think, I hope at least, that I'm uh, qualified enough to do a player's perspective of Coyote's mission pack here to hopefully give some players who've been struggling to get into it some baseline ideas to develop their own tactics and stuff. Right, I have no interest in min-maxing or metagaming meta or anything like that, but you know, if people want to take this video and try to develop their own tactics based on it, to help some people get into it and help some people stop complaining about the difficulty, it'll, I, I think it'll help, you know, help give Coyote's Mission Pack more, more credit that it deserves, right? Now, you know, as a, a disclaimer, Coyote's Missions are difficult by design, right? They're supposed to break up the simplicity of the vanilla missions and give you a little something, uh, something more to do, you know? Make uh, the missions more complex, right? Give you more to do. Give random random encounters that can happen, as I like to call them. Right, you have the baseline missions with a bunch of encounters that can happen on top of it, kinda, kinda like that, right? Now, in terms of the missions, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, well, six and a half missions. Leopard Defense is a, a unique case, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. I will be doing a separate video on each of these mission types. Kind of like a two-part system where I'll do like a presentation like this. Go over the general details, what can happen in the mission type, how it plays out. And then I'll give, you know, two or three or four examples of me playing the mission via instant action at varying difficulty levels so you guys can get a visual idea on what happens and I'll explain things as we go and I'll explain tactics for playing them and all that stuff. Right, so it's like you'll have one form of it on paper and then one form of it in practice. Kind of a two-part video for each of these mission types. As I find time to do them, right? Like I said, I'm in school, so production on this playlist may be a little bit slow. Maybe one video a week or something like that until we're done. But hopefully it'll be a lot more high quality than my Planet Side 2 guide was. And I think I really should redo that at some point. Or just, you know, figure something out. Because I don't really like how the Planet Side 2 thing came out. But that's a topic for another video. Each of the mission types at a glance is Attack and Defend, which is one of my favorite, by the way. You guys are wondering, my favorite are Attack and Defend, Patrol, and Battleground. Recon and Rescue are the two I have at least experience in, but I've still played each of these mission types plenty of times. It's just that Recon and Rescue are the two that I haven't played a lot. Duel, 
I played semi-regularly, and then Leopard Defense, like I said, is a unique case. But Attack and Defend is two bases are locked in a stalemate fight, you're hired to break the tie, and it's literally attack one base, defend your own. Right? You gotta destroy the other base, and then the enemies are trying to capture yours, so kind of like a reverse beachhead mechanic there in that regard. And then patrol, you are, surprise, surprise, patrolling a point of interest. Random events occur at each stage of the mission at the start, activating the nav point, activating the evac zone. And that's what I mean by multiple different encounters can happen on each mission. Patrol is probably the most extreme example of that, because patrol is based entirely around those random encounters, while other missions like Attack and Defend do have a lot of random encounters in it, but it still has a dedicated mission objective. Well, Patrol, the mission objective ba is based directly on what encounters you get. And then Recon, you're hired to recon the map, activating nav points similar to a raid mission, but without any fighting, you don't have to destroy anything. And then there's also a time limit in place, so uh, you gotta you gotta be quick about it. Now, Recon probably has the least amount of encounters that can happen, right? You may get different types of enemy reinforcements, but that's about it, I'm pretty sure. Right, you get these reco enemy recon units that tr try to announce your presence and all that stuff, and that's pretty much the extent that goes to. Rescue plays out very similar to Battletech's uh, convoy escort mission type where a convoy requiring mech escort has hired you to protect them. You spawn on one side of the map, there's a nav point on the other side of the map, which is a base under attack. You gotta escort the vehicles over to that nav point. They stay there for a couple minutes, you defend them for a couple minutes, a dropship comes down, picks them up, and then uh, you defend the dropship for a couple minutes, and then the mission is over. Plays out very similar to Battletech's convoy escort mission, except being except it's real time instead of turn based. Battleground is actually Battlefield 2.0 before PGI released their modified mission types and create a and created a battlefield mission of their own, which is a variant of Warzone. But Battleground is way larger scale. A lot more friendlies and enemies spawn at mission start. And then there's also one or two smaller yet still smaller but still considerate reinforcement waves. Sometimes vehicles, sometimes aircraft, most, most of the time mechs kind of deal. Right? Your employer is outnumbered. You're hired to level the play field and defeat a large swarm of mixed enemy units. Like I said, mechs, aircraft, and tanks can all spawn during a battleground mission. And it's a lot of fun, actually. It really reminds me of the uh, battle scenarios added in by DLC 2, right? And it, it's a lot of fun, right? And you even get a couple of uh, repair bays you can use on the map as well, and it's a lot of fun. It's like my second favorite. I think my first, my top favorite is Attack and Defend, my second is Battleground, and then my third is Patrol. Meanwhile, you have Duel, where your employer has been challenged by an alliance of veteran, me veteran mech warriors and willing to risk their own units. They have been hired, they have hired you to fight on their behalf. Straight up 4v4 with a small chance of other encounters, wink against custom advanced AI. I'll get into the AI in more detail when I do the actual duel video, but it's really cool what Kyo did with the AI on duel. It's really cool and uh you know, it's it's n it's interesting to see as he learns how to use the Mech Warrior 5 editor what more and more he can do with it. And then finally Leopard Defense it's a unique mission where it overwrites either patrol, recon, and I think duel or rescue. Like I said, you'll have to confirm or deny some of these, some of these points here. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure three missions can be overwritten, and I know patrol is one of them. 
I believe Duel and Rescue are the others. I'm pretty sure. I have to double check the uh, the mod the mod uh, the mobs mod site on the Nexus for that, or he can you know confirm which mission types it is in the comments below if he does watch this video. And besides the mission types, there are a couple of non-mission specific changes where these are specific encounters added by the mod that can happen on almost any mission type. Alright, they're not like the they're not like the uh the encounters in patrol, for example, where patrol is more of a general pool of stuff. While these two uh, encounters li listed here are kind of mission pack wide, where they can happen on almost any of the missions, like I said. First off is a uh, solar storm ripped straight out of Prey Souls, if he's even still working on that. I don't know if he did. He may just be working solely on Mech Warrior 5 nowadays. But pretty much, solar radiation blankets the entire area. Heating up all mechs on the map. This goes for both allies and enemies. You will get visual and audio warnings when this does happen. And yeah, it can either help you or severely hinder you, depending on what kind of mechs you have in your lance, right? Obviously, if you have laser boats, then you may have some issues. But if you have slug throwers with ballistic weapons, you may be a little bit better off. And then three-way battles. Independent mercs, mostly pirates, sometimes it's mercs, I think it's mainly just pirates, labeled as pirates, may join the battle on certain mission types, attacking both you and your enemy. I don't know if Battleground has it, I know Battlefield used to have it when it was part of Coyote's mission pack. I don't know if he added that to Battleground or not, but I definitely know it's in Patrol and Attack and Defend. Like I said, most mission types, not all of them. And I think Duel has three-way battles as well, like I said. Wink, wink. <laughs> Extra encounters. But overall, that is pretty much it for uh, the introduction. Like I said, I'll do specific videos for each mission type. But uh, yeah, hopefully this little playlist will, like I said, help new players and maybe even some veteran players get an understanding of uh, how these missions play out and maybe some tactics they can utilize to make it a little bit easier on themselves. And so they can uh, stop giving Coyote all the blame for making two difficult missions, even though they're difficult, but they're 100% doable. But anyway, I have nothing more to say today. Hopefully you guys are excited for this little uh, guide video. You know... I'm still kind of new to the whole guide making thing, but I think it'll do a lot better here than I did with Plantside 2. But until next time, thank you all for watching, and I'm out. Peace.